Okay, folks, Mike here from Merlwani, and with us today we have James Hi. and Peter of Vader. How are you guys doing? Pretty much ready for the show. <laughs> we'll have probably another three to four hours before you guys hit the stage, but this is your first time in India. So I'm sure it would have been a great experience to come to this part of the world, which you don't normally come. We were in this part of the world before mm -hmm. in Nepal. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, pretty much still in Nepal. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we touched a bit of the culture and touched a little bit of the area mm -hmm. and the food, the great food. Yeah. And uh, now it's time for India. Now, India is uh, it's one of the biggest lands, you know, the cradle of humanity. Yeah. And uh, it's something we, so we excited just we can finally be here and, 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 and play for the fans. So uh, I don't really know what to expect, but it's, uh, after I, after we met so many fans from India, mm -hmm. outside of the country, from Europe, the US, like whatever. Yeah. So uh, so I'm sure that they're like up to make a really good man. Definitely, that's, that's good to hear that you guys know, uh, like the country as we said. And also the fans here in India love get married, so you definitely would have a great time when you see these guys head banging their, you know, head out while this that's singing uh, definitely. Definitely. play. Definitely. <laughs> now, no, you, definitely. You guys have an EP coming up. Uh, called Iron Times. Mm -hmm. So I was listening to it from the past couple of days, and you know, it has two new tracks, two bonus tracks, as per the, my knowledge. And uh, your album uh, got pushed, The Empire, in November. Uh, yeah, yeah. First, we're supposed to uh, uh, release it at the end of September, but uh, just like the session, uh, there's some problems with like, the, the graphics and everything. So. Okay. So just to make everything smooth and easy, so we pushed it uh, a little bit ahead. So uh, the, the release date is planned for uh, November 4th, and uh, we're going to stay with that date. So, uh, actually, EP is like um, something we did uh, before uh, the previous album, before the uh, with releasing a single called Hell. Mm -hmm. so there were like two songs, so uh, this time we have two songs as well. We just added two bonuses just to make it more interesting interesting at least like as a whole okay because you know if there was ep so we can make like uh the better graphics and right. something more and actually because the album is going to be out uh, pretty late in this year yeah and uh, we just started the summer season so it's really nice to have something fresh from the fans <laughs> so uh, we decided to make ep and uh, we can start to play the songs as soon as the album will be out yeah. so uh just can't wait so now it's still we still we still not even started the summer season. We already had some 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 good festivals, but it's just like a one way trip, yeah. and uh, uh, so we just still kind of busy with the final result of, al of the album this year. So I think by the end of July, the album should be done, closed, really close. okay. and uh, then we we gonna start like something more. Fresh, so we can refresh the set list and you know, do something new. That's wonderful. And uh, James mentioned that, that um, there are the songs that have been written um, on the, for the EP. Would uh, they be relevant uh, from the main album as well, or is it just for the fans to basically uh, get the vibe? These songs are going to be in the album. Yeah. <laughs> Both the tracks. Yeah. And the two bonus tracks? No, no. Just, this is uh, kept just for EP. Ah, okay. And uh, the, the, the bonuses are actually uh, the, the covers. Overkill, and, uh, what we had. Overkill, first of all. So Overkill is uh, actually uh, my personal, but I can say probably that it's also came from, it came from the band as well. Uh, a tribute to Lemmy and to Motorhead, because you know, the Lemmy passed away a long time ago. And, and he was just too important, he was an icon. You know, and, uh, not just for me, for the whole metal, you know, brotherhood. Especially for those who, like, like me, who started extreme music, also because of Martin uh, in the 80s, back in the 80s. So uh, this is our tribute, and uh, we try to make it, of course, like like every band who makes the cover in the Vader style. So we differ. So we we got two guitars, and you know, everything is kind of different. But I'm sure that we kept the spirit of Motorhead and that. So, exactly, because I heard Overkill and obviously it starts with drum and I heard uh, James hitting it hard and, and even the two songs that are on uh, the album clearly give me an indication how uh, what basically could be said as a groundwork for the Empire, how it's going to sound. 
So was it meant to kind of give fans a little bit of an idea of how it's going to sound when it comes to the next album <laughs> which is coming out? It's really hard to me to talk about sound without, you know, giving a chance to listen to it. Well, you haven't even heard the fucking song <laughs> yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, but how to, how I'll, I'll, I'll explain that to, to, to the people. It's, a, it's definitely, you know, in my opinion, it's very subjective, but um, I, I, I strongly believe that this album, and I'm talking about the EP and the, the, the Empire, is definitely the best sounding of the Raider ever recorded. So this is like a culmination of all the experience uh, we uh, had in these years and in the hair studio. Because we were in the hair studio and we'd ever next record. Uh, so we progress. The studio progress with us. So uh, we, we develop the music, we develop everything, and we develop sound right with the studio with the guys. You know, we, we work. The Hurt Studio has a lot of uh, history with it. I, I think even the decapitated guys have recorded their, yep, yep. their album there. And, and they recorded a few. Yes, I think the two guys who run the studio yeah. there, two brothers. Yes. Yes. So, the beginning. Yeah. Is the mixing everything done uh, there? Yeah. At Hurt Studio? Yeah. Once, once, once when we record, when we were recording the Necropolis album, so uh, uh, the tracks were recorded in the studio, and uh, the mix and everything was done in hand studio uh, uh, in, in again. But that was just like for one time. So uh, we gave a chance to them uh, for the previous album just to make everything to be a producer of the album, and uh, it was good decision. And so the same this time. So we, so if we don't need to do anything, you know, just to have like a better name, you know, to pay for that, for them to have just a name on that, like, you know, like, I, I don't know, whatever. There are some producers, famous, and it doesn't mean that the producer gives a guarantee that the album is going to sound like, right. that, yeah. like, you know, the right. best. You know, right. It happened, but it's not a guarantee. Never. How so do you we, guys manage in terms of uh, the get metal genre? Because we have had bands like... Cannibal Clubs, releasing albums every year and, and never lost the identity. Basically, Raider has your own sound. You have that, you know, where fans can clearly sit, like determine that this is the sound of Raider. Again, you guys experiment. You guys bring in a lot of, try to explore here and there just to broaden the sound. So when you talk about the Empire, where does it lie in your catalog? Let's say, Tibi Tigmi and now with Empire. How is... You know, I think it's, it's, it's pretty much continuation of what we did in and uh, it's made a little bit further. Uh, I wouldn't say that this album is something like extraordinary or something different. It's extraordinary to us because yeah. it's like we like we put so much heart on that, and uh, uh, definitely, in my opinion, again, subjective, it sounds better. For this one. And uh, this more maybe more riffs and things we never used to often before or we we gave we mixed something like how to explain that like easy like blast beats with with like the riffs and the style of deep purple okay you know it's kind of i don't it's, know how to explain that it's difficult so, to imagine actually if, if for, for musicians like we 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 use more uh, long notes you know uh, uh, with the blast beats behind you know and something like that so uh, it's not just like very intense speaking, some more melody, more atmosphere on that. However, we, we, we did not use any samples on that, like we did on the previous album, so this is more rough. But this, this, yeah, pretty much organic, so this makes this album sound a little bit like Litany. So it's like a live uh, essence to it, and yes, we yes, talk yes, about yes, how, yes. how the sound is. Especially his drumming, I mean, I've heard the two songs and I know he's, he's been killing it, so how does it feel this to is have... Pretty, your this is, this is pretty much the uh, drummer, if I can say. Drum. It starts with drums, and it's so much drums, and uh, I, I, I'm, uh, I can surely say that this is, uh, the drums is the heart of the empire. Out of the empire. The, 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 the drums is the heart of the How, how is it like recording uh, <laughs> the drums for the album? Well, you know, it's, this time I knew what to expect. First time with Tibia Lee for you, it was just... Uh, my first ever beta album, I've been in the band only a couple of years, so I wasn't really sure what to do, so I just thought, okay, this time I had a lot of ideas of specific things that I wanted to do, and I managed to put them on. I'm really happy to say that this album is definitely a step up from the drum in. Yeah, uh, you know, we are on five years together, but this is the longest time, so uh, the fader has the same lineup, lineup. in history. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, definitely just like a second album recorded and the same thing it helps it helps like to communicate so it, it's, it doesn't have like to spend like more time before the studio or right. something like that no we just if we spend more time together so we can just communicate, communicate. like yeah, uh, like wireless you know we know, we know, we know, what, <laughs> we know what yeah we yeah. know what to expect and what yeah what to, to do you know, yeah. just like to, to make something and uh works for years. <laughs> it's really good to hear. I'm sure fans are going to look forward to, you know, fans yeah, and you guys fans are going to have one new song today, you guys are going to no, play. No, huh? yeah, oh, so it's Okay. No, the first, believe it or not, so um, we have to learn <laughs> the yeah. songs like with the whole band, yeah. because so much things, actually mostly things that they can create into the industry. So we're changing, we're doing, sometimes we're even like uh, creating, like on the spot in the studio. Which makes everything very spontaneous, yeah. like very uh, see the truth. Yeah. So there's a, there's a lot of moments where we're all going to yeah. come back to it and say, "How the yeah. fuck did I even play that?" You know? <laughs> because you know, it's like, of course, like uh, there there are bands who, who just like practice the songs and they trying to make uh, as um, you know like uh, the best version. But it's nothing like the best version existing. True. Because it's not us who decide about it. Yeah. I remember in the history so many times. It's not just Vader. It's like many bands. Uh, they because they had like a time to make one. Hey, let's make that one song, and this songs became a heat. We did it for Carno in the past. We did it for like Hallelujah, like more songs like that. Easy songs, but they became you no. Know, sometimes you focus and try to make something more, more uh, you know, complicated, more like uh, like with the parts, you know, like to do something epic, you know. And nobody cared. <laughs> you know, this is music. Music is all about emotion, especially now. And. Uh, that's why we never try, you know, probably just the first album ever, in all history innovator, just the first album we had, on, when we have, when we had almost uh, 10 years <laughs> to think about the songs and to jam with them, so it's natural. That's good to hear. And, uh, but the rest, usually, like, we never really prepared the album before the entering the studio. Okay, so we're so we pretty much, like, stick with the work in the studio. And some people plans? cannot understand it, but this is just... Just what we this do. Is how it, yeah, definitely. You know, Any how plans of taking it on the road? Obviously, you have a Polish tour coming up that you're hitting around 10 cities or 11 cities in your country. So, anything else planned uh, from the release point of view, taking it across Europe or to states sometime early next year? Anything concrete? Sure, actually, we'll do. So, if we start, and this time actually we start, uh, we're going to start not in Poland, we start in Russia, Japan, China. Mm -hmm. Closer here. Yeah. And uh, in September. And uh, this is actually the first time we're gonna close up a little bit of Iraq. Okay. Not as a whole, but a little bit. Definitely gonna be uh, the, the, the whole EP, yeah. plus two or three songs from, from the upcoming album. And uh, you know, it doesn't make sense to play everything True. before the album comes out. Yeah. Nobody knows. Yeah. So yeah. Probably, uh, definitely, we're gonna release something like a, a little video or like maybe two songs before the album. So yeah. if we will make it before the tour, definitely gonna add these to the sounds. Sounds good. I look forward to see you guys live. This is my second experience. No, second, so this. No, oh. what was the first? <laughs> in Germany. So oh, I've seen all the all the bands there. Mm -hmm. I've been my when I travel there. So again, it'll be a wonderful. Because this is the first time, so uh, yes. we have pretty much mixed of the whole history there. So we have the whole uh, songs that's pretty much connected to the last year. So we were like reminding uh, the first demo from the 90s, you know, later. So uh, also the last album, of course, and something like like in main points of like albums released by Vader. Not everything, also, it's not possible to do that like, in yeah, one hour. <laughs> but we're gonna try. It be wonderful. It was nice having a chat with you and forward to the show today. And uh, have a great time in India. Have a good time.